Hey church, hope you're good wherever you are and whatever you're up to. Hope you're having a blessed week so far. Today I really want to encourage you from Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, which says this. In the ESV, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, God, and he will make straight your paths. Wonder if you had a time in your life where your trust has been a little bit wavering, right? It's not been steady, it's not been firm, it's been a little bit shaky, right? I remember when I was flying out to Malawi on my first ever international missions trip. I got three flights all the way down to Blantyre in Malawi and I was waiting for a guy called Trevor, who I'd never met before, a missionary in Blantyre to pick me up. So I arrive, I land, it's been a long, long day of flying, many flights, overnight, sleeping. And I arrive at the airport and I come out to the front of the airport and I couldn't see Trevor anywhere. And it felt like an eternity. I was sitting there, it was 30 minutes past, an hour past, and I started to wonder if Trevor was ever going to show up. And what was I going to do if I was stuck in Malawi, 19 years old, on my own, had no idea. But praise the Lord that six foot five tall Trevor came walking up the car park and came and picked me up. But in that moment, my trust was wavering. Let's be honest, it was all over the place. I wasn't really sure if he was going to turn up and show up. And Proverbs here is talking about having a trust in God. Now, the Hebrew word that's used, excuse my pronunciation, is a word called betak, which is made up of three letters. The first letter, the bet in this word, has this picture of a tent, a home, a family, and is speaking into the idea of us being on the inside, abiding and resting. The second letter, tet, describes something being wrapped like a baby, wrapped, swaddled in a blanket, referring to being wrapped tightly in love. And the third letter, Chet, is depicted as a fence or a wall. It's got this concept of being surrounded and protected. So all three letters of this Hebrew word, Batak, which means trust, create this picture that when we trust God, we're on the inside, we're wrapped tightly, and we're protected. In other words, in the Hebrew, Trusting in God is more to do about what God does for us than we do for him by trusting him. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and all your ways. Acknowledge him, submit to him. He'll make straight your paths. So in other words, today, without trusting in God, our paths aren't straight. Therefore, if we don't trust God, our path is skew. It's on a detour. It's heading the long way around. It's perhaps heading in a different, a wrong, an incorrect direction. But the foundation to our paths being made straight is trusting in God. And I want to encourage you today, church, whatever you're up to, whatever you're going, wherever you're going, whatever you're doing today, to trust in God. That word he's spoken over your life, trust him. That environment he's called you to be an influence in, trust him. That person he's asking you to reach out to and show his love to and take a step of faith, trust him. Because you're protected, you're surrounded, you're cared for, you're held tightly, you're deeply loved. Hey, and if we can trust God together in all that he's called us to, watch how straight he'll make our paths. We'll head in the right direction. We'll be in line with his will. We'll do the great exploits that he's called us to do. It all comes down to this one word, trust. And God is asking you and I today, can I trust you? And my prayer is this, is that our answer and our reply to God is yes. And watch what he'll do in you and through you when you simply choose to trust him today. Church, have a brilliant day. And my prayer today is that each and every one of us would learn to trust God a little bit deeper, a little bit stronger, a little bit firmer, and that our trust like mine in Malawi wouldn't be wavering, but it would be firm and established as we follow and pursue the things of God. Have a brilliant rest of your day, church, and we'll catch you really soon.